What is going on guys? Now we are going to be diving into Ultimate Spider-Man issue 200. Now before we get into this, I am actually going to be giving away an Ultimate Spider-Man issue 200 digital code. Now to win, all you have to do is leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your favourite moment is throughout the entire Ultimate Spider-Man series. It doesn't matter whether it's Ultimate Spider-Man with Peter Parker or Ultimate Spider-Man with Miles Morales. Just let me know what your favourite moment is and I will choose a winner. I'll make another video on the winner of it later on in the month sometime and don't worry, you guys will know. And anyway, to redeem, all you have to do is go to marvel.com slash redeem and redeem your code there. And of course, don't forget to make a Marvel account so that you can read your comic and read away. Also, in case you guys didn't know, I am a huge, huge, huge Ultimate Spider-Man fan. And if you want to click the video on the left, then you can go and look at my Ultimate Spider-Man collection, which is features basically every single comic, but now that's almost two years ago, so imagine that, but doubled. And if you want to click the video on the right, that'll take you to the death of Ultimate Spider-Man issue 160, where I reviewed it a few years ago, so please do not hate on my uh, shyness in the video. But yeah, uh, if you want to check them out, then go ahead. And anyway, without further ado, let's dive into Ultimate Spider-Man issue 200. Alright, to kick it off, we are actually going to Miles Morales and Gank. Now, in case you didn't know, Miles Morales is the new Ultimate Spider-Man, which you should know by now. And it starts by Gank complaining about how they had to get the public transport instead of Miles swinging them to their destination. And then it goes ahead to show that Gank is actually getting Gwen Stacy a present. Now, we never actually find out what's in the box, but Miles is basically telling him no because Legos suck. Anyway, so we go to Peter Parker's house and Mary Jane is there with a new boyfriend. And obviously, they are going to Peter Parker's second year anniversary of his death. Now, to bring your new boyfriend to your ex-boyfriend's house, who was Spider-Man who died is obviously not a very good idea. So Mary Jane had to send him home and obviously he understood completely. I also liked it how Mary Jane actually had to tell him not to get hit by a car because he must have had some run-ins into cars and stuff like that. Maybe he's been run over a few times, maybe it's just a thing. But anyway, then we are taken to Jessica Drew and Wendy Conrad, aka Bombshell and Spider-Woman. And Bombshell didn't really know Peter Parker, so she's scared to go. And then look, they almost run over Mary Jane's boyfriend. And then we are also taken to Liz Allen and Iceman. Liz Allen in the Ultimate Universe kind of got mutant powers if you didn't know and then the human torch comes along and stuff like that it's really good so here we go to the invitation of peter parker's second anniversary funeral and what you've got to do and stuff like that it's pretty interesting and then we zoom out here and we can see everyone that's turned up most people are in black but and may specifically stated that it's a remembrance of peter's life not a morning of his death so basically everyone that had to go had to be happy and stuff and then we cut to Gank actually giving Gwen Stacy the present that he wanted to. Now, Miles and Gank both know that it's something to do with Legos, but we never actually, like, it never reveals what it actually is, but Gwen's obviously surprised. And then Gwen instantly kisses him. It must have been some damn good present to get a kiss off Gwen Stacy. Now, that was my phone. I apologize for that. Anyway, as you can see, everybody is absolutely gobsmacked. They have no idea what was in the box and everyone's just congratulating, well, Johnny Storm is congratulating Gank on that he's just pulled that off. And then we go to the part where Tony Stark couldn't make it to Peter's party slash anniversary slash death thing. So he sent a ton of food, which probably cost an absolute bomb, but he did it anyway. And then, hey, Kitty Pride shows up and of course this is just set after the cataclysm where Galactus was about to take over the world and Kitty Pride saved everyone so Kitty Pride has met the president and basically nobody hates mutants anymore and all this and Kenny her ex-boyfriend turns up and of course if you haven't read the Ultimate Spider-Man comics Kenny basically has to move away because his family moves away something like that so they had to split up and then we have J. Jonah Jameson waiting outside in the car now J. Jonah Jameson knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man before he died, so J. Jonah Jameson feels kind of a bit of resentment there and stuff like that, but decides not to go into Peter's house anyway and just drive off. I kind of wish he stayed, but fair dues. And now we go to where everybody is imagining what it would have been like if Peter was still alive. So I think, is this Mary Jane? I think he, well, she, I mean, is imagining him running the Ultimates, being the head of the Ultimates. We have Miles Morales there in the background as well. 
I can't remember which issue it is, but in Ultimate Fallout issue 6, I think it was, Nick Fury went to Mary Jane's house and confessed that he was absolutely heartbroken that Peter Parker had died. And I think it was issue 6 of Ultimate Fallout, don't quote me on that. But then I think we go to Aunt May talking about how she would have wished that Peter would have eventually give up being Spider-Man because it was just some weird teenage type of thing that he thought he had to do but eventually would have grown out of. But then again, she had to realise that the true thing was that people needed Spider-Man and she came to learn that as well. Also, she wanted him to turn back to his one love, which was science. I thought she was talking about Mary Jane then, but never mind, she meant science. <laughs> Then we go on to what Gwen Stacy would have thought about Peter Parker being grown up and she actually spoke about how Peter used to love working at the Daily Bugle and how it used to absolutely kill him that Kingpin used to get away with absolutely everything and Peter just couldn't get like any evidence on him but Peter wanted to become a journalist if he wasn't a scientist and Peter wanted to know how he could use his powers to pretty much give evidence against the Kingpin and get him put down into jail or getting put under the jail, as Hank would have said out of Breaking Bad. Miles Morales starts to give his thoughts on Peter Parker being grown up as well, but then again, Miles didn't actually meet the ultimate version of Peter. He actually met the 616 version of Peter when they did the Spider-Men series crossover. Now, Miles starts to say that if Peter is anything like the 616 version, then they'll be good friends, and probably they want to become sidekicks, that's what Miles is hoping for anyway. He then goes on to talk about how he wouldn't be able to be called Spider-Man because there couldn't be two Spider-Men in New York, so Miles starts to wonder what name he could have had if Spider-Man was still alive. Everyone then goes on to ask Kitty Pride what she would have thought of Peter Parker being grown up, because in case you didn't know, between issues 90 and 103, I think, if I remember correctly, Kitty Pride and Peter actually dated now. Peter actually left Kitty Pride and split up with her after the Clone Saga because Mary Jane got kidnapped and, well, he all of a sudden realised his love for Mary Jane and, well, he basically just ditched Kitty Pride, which is pretty bad, but fair dues. Johnny Storm then gives his thoughts on Peter Parker still being alive and grown up, and we actually have a really good reference to the Ultimate Spider-Man TV series, and you can actually see, I can't remember her name, is it White Panther or something like that? I can't remember her name. But her on the right just there, I don't really watch the Ultimate Spider-Man TV series, it's kind of... I you any on Disney Channel or something, so I don't really have that. But anyway, yeah, he goes on to talk about how we would have had cool toys such as like the spider bike and they all could have teamed up as a team. And I think it is a really good reference to Ultimate Spider-Man TV series. Like, look at it, it even looks exactly the same. If they had Johnny Cage there, oh, is it? Is it Johnny Cage? Yeah, it's Johnny Cage, it's definitely Johnny Cage. And we also have Nova there as well. Eventually, everyone there decides to give something back to the people of New York City because, well, Peter Parker was such a giving person, and they decide to give Tony Stark's food that he sent, because there was so much, they decide to give it to the homeless people and help people out down in Queens and at the homeless shelter and stuff like that, and give everyone like a really fun experience, and then the night starts coming to a close. Miles starts saying goodbye to Aunt May, Gank and Gwen, like... Gwen gives him a kiss on the cheek. We don't actually find out what is in the box still, which I'm so unhappy about, but we all start saying bye. There goes Bombshell and Spider-Woman, aka Wendy, something or other, and Jessica Drew. So the next issue is Ultimate Spider-Man issue 1. That's right, they're starting all the issues back to issue 1 again with Miles Morales. So we got up to, I think it was issue 29 with Miles Morales, and then they started it again at issue 1. So that's coming sometime next month, I think, or in the next two months, I'm not quite sure. But then again, we're also getting a new series called All New Ultimates, and the leader of the All New Ultimates is Spider-Woman and Miles Morales. And it features Kitty Pride, Bombshell, Cloak and Dagger, Snow, uh, Snow Leopard, what? <laughs> uh, Spider-Woman and Miles Morales, Spider-Man. So I'll be doing a review on the first issue of that as well. Now... Don't forget about the giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Let me know about what your favourite moment is in the entire Ultimate Spider-Man series. It doesn't matter whether it's Ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales or Ultimate Spider-Man Peter. It doesn't matter, just as long as you give me your favourite part of the Ultimate Spider-Man series and I will eventually choose a winner. I'll make a video, so keep an eye out for that as well. Anyway, if you like my video, then hit the like button. And of course, don't forget to check out my Ultimate Spider-Man comic book collection and the death of Peter Parker in the link in the description. 
Also, follow the link in the description to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all of that good stuff. Anyway, that's it for me and that is it for this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want more. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video.